We turned up on site. I feel like I'm in a sketch from Naked Gun. This isn't Big Al, it's Will from HBS Electrical, as I can see on his shirt. I can't see anything else. Are you possibly the tallest electrician in the UK at the moment? Possibly. Yeah, okay, so you're gonna show us around this two bed. We're gonna have a walk around. Will's gonna show us what he's doing and what he's installing in this electrical installation. So why is the house being rewired? Um, so the customer, uh, it's his first house, um, bought it and completely gutted it. So the, the electrics were pretty shot. So okay. we've uh, decided to upgrade Say it. Say the truth. You're his mate and you're an electrician. He wanted his house rewiring. Yeah, yeah it's mate rates, isn't it? It's mate yeah. rates. So we're in the uh, intake position here. What earthing arrangement have we got? Uh, TNCS. Okay, and I don't know what that is, believe it or not. What is that? Um, I believe it's to do with the, the smart meter. Okay, so that's, that says on there Zigbee. Comments below if you can tell me exactly what that is. It's got a feed coming into it and nothing else, so obviously it must be some sort of communication device. Is that part of the smart meter? Leave your comments below. Should we go inside? Yeah. Oh, indoor swimming pool, I see. So is it a case Careful. of leaping through here? Leaping through. Okay, it's all right for you. <laughs> okay. It's amazing what you can find in the skip if you rifle around for long enough. The original wiring accessories in this two bed house were MK and we're taking them out and replacing them with the new MK base range, which we've already reviewed on the channel. I'll leave a link for that in the description, but catch up with Will now. Old consuming air looks like a what, YLX rewirable, that old favourite that was installed many moons ago. What's the advantage, yep. Will, to the customer of upgrading that consuming unit? Uh, protection, mainly. RCD protection, uh, obviously, is the, the main advantage. Um, across all, all the circuits as opposed to uh, none. Okay, and also with it being circuit breakers, they've got the ability just to reset when the fault's been cleared, hasn't they? So they can yeah. re energize yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, and this year is mate, it means that's probably one less phone call you're going to get. Hopefully, yes. So look into the kitchen. I, I see a number of spotlights. Have they carried that theme out through the house? No, I, it's, um, I think there's only the, the kitchen and the, the house bathroom uh, with spots. Apart well, from that, there's... So you, so you got away with that one, didn't you? Because yeah, normally yeah, if a probably. mate's doing it, we'll have spots everywhere, whole no, ways, everything. So. Exactly. I know it's over there in the corner. We've got, I think, what looks like a lead pipe coming in for the water. So that means protective bonding's going to need to be installed. Yeah, it's currently under the floor, ready to be connected. Obviously, we need the plumber to come in and work his magic. Yep. I think he's leaving it a little bit late. Is he another friend? <laughs> he's another friend, yeah. <laughs> he's he's had a bit of luck, hasn't he? Yeah, he's yeah. another Viking friend. I think he's chosen. us. Well, it looks like you've been busy in here chopping in socket outlets. There seems to be a number of them in the kitchen. He's gone mad, hasn't he? Well, I like this, so I take it uh, if we're, we're doing our homes under the hammer bit, we've got the <laughs> open plan living here. So we're kitchen, diner, living area. Living yeah? area, yeah, that's correct. Always focusing on the, the bit behind the telly. So I know new builds never have enough socket outlets. Is it down in the right and <laughs> Yeah, that, down in the right. If I see two twin sockets, I'm always impressed. <laughs> as we pull this back, what have we got? Uh, so oh, <laughs> three twins behind, him. yeah. He chased them in himself. That makes logical sense, doesn't it now? Sound systems, Sky TV. Uh, TV. I take he's not going wall mounted by that. His decision's going low level. Yeah. No, lo low level. Um, he'll have a, a unit with the TV will sit on, and then he'll have his uh, PlayStation, DVD player, everything underneath. So, as, as this obviously is a mates rate for the plumbing, mates rates for the electric, there's obviously a budget involved with it. It's it's been a nice, simple, basic rewire for me. And look at it maybe from their point of view, and if you've got to put your first carpet in, your first wall, your first plastic, your first pipe, your first cable, and all furnishings, they've got yeah. to be something that gives, isn't that? No, it, exactly. And with it being his first house and doing it on his own, um, obviously he's got to keep an eye on that money. Yeah, that budget's really important. Should we look upstairs? Yep. Somebody else not done their job right, is that right? Pretty much. So plasterers not cleaning their boxes out. It's really easy to always find a cleaner box out. Well, it's wet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, rather than when it's dry. So when you said you were trained old school, was that a small company, large company? So uh, Airdale, the company started with out onto sites with proper old school electricians. What when class is somebody as a proper old school electrician? That's a great uh, term. Gra Graham Rowett, it was called, that was, uh, I was put with. He, he was coming up to retirement, but like literally didn't even have battery drills. He used to have uh, man drills. Uh, everything had to be literally spot on. A bit of a baptism of fire when we uh, when we started. There were two of us that were put with Graham on these jobs. And how good was that in hindsight now? Oh no. Probably yeah, you dreaded it at yeah. the time with the old man. Yeah, and fantastic. All the rest of it. Yeah. So USB sockets by the side of the bed, good idea? Yeah, I think so. I think obviously uh, phone chargers, 
um, stuff like that now. I think yeah. it becomes your radio alarm clock as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it does everything these days. Um, so, and it comes with a, a USB lead now rather than a, an actual socket, so. So I see you've got some screw caps there. Yeah, I'll leave them uh, in a box for him. And then once he's finished decorating, he can have the, the pleasant job of going around and screwing them all in. Okay, so you say pleasant job. Are you a fan of screw caps? No, generally what I'd say is the, the person that's going to come after in however many years, if they want to change it, they've got the, the job of trying to get them off. And, uh, You're worried about somebody who's coming back in 15 years, Tom. I, I like it, Well, I like, I like your style there. <laughs> I think the customers are, are ten, tend to be the ones who do like them, don't they? It gives that nice finish as it's... Yeah. The accessories don't obviously, the wall's not been painted yet, that's going to come off again, isn't it, at some point? Yeah. So if I look at the design of this USB socket, obviously with these slightly curved and the, the thickness of it, what's your thinking, K, okay, base range? No, I like it. It looks nice, sturdy, a good finish. Um, kind of what you expect from a socket, so... When you first looked at it, what, what would you have suggested it was make-wise? Would you have said it was budget? I, I would have said it's generally what I generally install, more of a, a middle, middle range socket. So this is bedside light switches, is it? Uh, it is, yeah. Is this doing the main light or the wall light? Uh, just the wall light. Okay, and looking at the cables here, what method are you using? Are you feeding the switch or are you doing a three-plate method? Uh, I'm feeding the switch. Do you always feed the switch, or is it just at these uh, wall light type ones? Uh, no, I tend to always run my, my permanents down to the, the switches. Um, I just think it if, if you've ever a problem fault finding, it just makes everything a lot easier. Yeah, of course, because you've got the majority of the connections in one location. Obviously, the, the light itself's only got one one cable in it. I'm thinking yep. now, don't, don't often people say that, do they? Yeah, I like that for fault finding. Obviously, not your own work. Obviously. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Just, just confirm that that's into a bucket. I lock it, so it's like tidying up as you go along. Yeah. Do you think that'll ever catch on? Should do. Makes things a lot easier. Back in the day, uh, a lot of stuff that was put in was MK. Did you fit much of it in the past? Um, back when I started being an electrician, yeah, I think every, everything that was installed on sites was pretty much MK. Um, what was you feeling on the brand at the time when you were installing back in the day? No, great. I, I used to love it. Um, it being literally, I think it was one of the only makes that I uh, worked with. Um, I didn't really know of any other makes at that point in time. So. And I always find that the, the sort of make you first start out with is the one you tend to hold on to the longest, don't you? Because you were sort of trained on it, worked with it in those early informative years of your apprenticeship. Yep. Obviously, you've moved away um, to a certain degree from the MK brand now. Do you believe the MK base range is going to give you some more options moving forward, maybe where you're squeezed on budget? Yeah, definitely. It's extremely good. Value for money. And I'll definitely uh, be thinking of it in the future. And design-wise, so as I, as I look at there with those soft edges, do you think that's really important to a customer? It depends on what, what look the customer wants the finish to look for, but personally I think the, the rounded edges do look better than the square. So I, I'd say showing them these will be a good good option for them and, and often a socket tends to and a switch tends to be very blocky doesn't it very square and, and quite thick doesn't it yeah Did, were you aware of the thickness of all the electrical accessories was the same so when you're in that kitchen with your cooker switch and your fuse connection units and your sockets they're going to be the same depth it's i think that's definitely a uh, a good a good selling point of them Really handy about these type of installations is this raised floor allowing us to wire underneath it. And if you've got somebody small enough in the electrical team, you can pop them under the floor and wire, say the downstairs ring, really quickly. Let's see what we've got under here. Ah, my good friend Joe. How's it under there, mate? Not bad, thank you. So they're already backed out. Do you think that saves you some time? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I always think if, if you're obviously going for uh, price conscious outlets that if you've got to start unwinding screws, they're already backed out and they're captive. Do you, do you think that's going to give you a little bit of advantage in speed of installing as well? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think um, it's it's a really useful, it's something that you don't generally think of until you have to unscrew them all. Or worst case scenario, unscrewing it a little bit too far and, and looking at the floor here, obviously we're scrambling out as a hole, it's definitely going to go down, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, it can be a, a little bit of an issue. 
moment the bounce, the bounce into a different realm. So 25 mil box, that USB socket's gone on, no problem, you just got the problem obviously with the plaster is left to load in there for you as well, hasn't he? Yeah, it's very thoughtfully covered up the screw holes just to make sure that no other rubbish gets inside it. We've got some uh, differing opinions on this one. Um, when I installed two-way switching around my bedroom area, I left the switch my wife's side, but you suggested uh, you've got it your side at yours, yeah? Yeah, um, it's, it's one of them things where I like to be in control of the lights, as silly as it sounds. Generous size screws and then those light switches. Yeah. And really big terminals, which is um, I thought was a really good feature. Because often as you drop the polarized slightly, you tend to have a little bit smaller holes, less copper, smaller screws. Yeah, and that can be a problem, can't it, with some of those budget ranges. I thought you said you worked on your own. I do. So what do you need a pair of steps for? <laughs> Makes it ever so slightly easier. All oh, right, okay. They're not the tallest steps in the world, are they? They don't need to be. Steps in then to just raise yourself off the ground, what? <laughs> About 200 mil? Yeah. Perfect height now. I think you just brought it in so you can obviously, uh, yeah, use the shelf and uh, that's really what you've done. <laughs> Well, I'm equally as impressed as how well you can throw everything into that bucket as well. I think you've hit it every time so far, haven't you? <laughs> you seem quite nonchalant as you just lob it and it's, like, it's in yeah. again, it's in again. Dare I ask, did you ever play any basketball as a younger man? No, it's, it's more a case of I can't jump to save my life. What, because you've never had to? Never Is it had to, of, yeah. Uh, I reckon uh, if I could jump, I'd have been like Peter Crouch and uh, made my fortunes of playing football. And um, we're just going to put a normal twin socket outlet here, yeah? Yeah. Are you aware of the guarantee that these outlets offer? Uh, I'm not, no. Okay, so that's, that's 20 years. Do you think that could become a, a key point when installing wiring accessories that the manufacturer has also suggested that will guarantee their product for 20 years? I think to the installer, yeah, that's great. Um, I don't think I've ever had a customer who, when I'm installing a product, have come to me and said, what's the guarantee on this switch? But do you think it gives you a bit more confidence when you think that the manufacturer has backed it with a 20 year guarantee? Yeah, definitely. I think for the, for the install, it's great. So with a 20 year guarantee, there's another little, almost a hidden gem that they have now with these outlets. They're actually made of urea formaldehyde, but which means it kills off all those nasties. Were you aware of the material that these socket outlets were made of will kill off 99.9 .9 or 99.8 of uh, all nasties? Just to uh, interject and bring a little scientific rigour to Gary's comments there about nasties. These sockets will do nothing to kill off people who don't thank you for holding the door open for them or leave their hair in the shower. Rather, he was referring to microbial life. Let's face it, sockets and switches are some of the most touched, least sanitised objects in a residential installation, which is a cocktail for harbouring harmful bacteria and viruses. And in places like HMOs, schools and hospitals, this could be a recipe for transmitting disease. As stated, the MK base range is made from urea formaldehyde. Now, this is a material that is antibacterial and antiviral as an inherent property of the material. It's not merely a coating on the plastic that will wear out over time, but rather the plastic itself that has this property. The sockets have been tested by an independent laboratory to the latest international standards, and the results have shown that the socket material has a kill rate of well over 99% of harmful bacteria and viruses, such as MRSA, E. coli, Listeria, and Salmonella. Along with the Logic Plus range, MK say that they offer the most widely tested wiring devices on the market, so you and your customers can have real peace of mind when using these accessories. Okay, back to Gary and Will. Uh, I wasn't, no. So with that and the 20 year guarantee, Will, do you think that's something that maybe you'll start suggesting when you're trying to win new, uh, new clients, new jobs? Yeah, definitely. I think obviously given what's going on, that's, um, a lot of people are a lot more aware of things like that, a selling point which people will, uh, will, people will like. And as an electrical contractor, having a selling point that causes you no inconvenience at all, that the material it's made of is going to help you, but that doesn't matter, does it really? You've got that as a, just an added bonus. Yeah, definitely. We've fitted a few accessories now, so I'm going to challenge you with a question, and I want your honest, truthful answer. So I've bundled up all the electrical accessories for this job, and I'm going to come up with a certain little number for you. Let's say I've got them at £300, and then your usual electrical accessories are bundled up next to it, identical amount of accessories. 
you've got a choice. Are you going to move across to the MK base round? Are you going to stick with the range that you're currently using? Uh, honestly, I'd probably, I'd probably stick with the MK. Um, I can't really tell the difference between this and generally what I'd normally install. So. You mentioned feel there. As you're installing these and you're getting more and more used to the accessories, does it feel like a budget outlet? No, no. Um, I think it's it's nice. It feels solid. Um, it's everything that I'd quite happily put in my own house. And the screw terminations, that's probably where you, you, you find a, a budget one. They're usually quite small and they're obviously not the, the strongest screw connection. How are you finding the terminals in the back of the sockets and switches? Yeah, great. Um, nice big chunky, chunky fixings. Um, get a nice, decent sized screwdriver in there. We've set yourself a bit of a challenge there. Am I seeing three doubled over going to go into one terminal? Give it a go, yeah. Right, okay, that'll be interesting to see if that terminal is big enough to take three doubled over. I do like the fact you're doubling over. But it uh, obviously will challenge that switch. Now, thinking of the, the stuff we're installed and the stuff you've got still to install, is there any standout um, products within the range or even elements of the range? Um, I'd say my favourite at the moment is probably actually the switches themselves. This will be the acid test after that statement because you've got three doubled overs to go. And there's one, is it? There's one. I'm going to get three in it. Two. And two. Three straight well, in that. Well, easy. No problems. Okay, so generous size term. So actually the new, or the return of the design of the back of that switch is something that you think is a, a positive feature for you? Yeah, definitely. Compared to how they, uh, they used to be. Something suggests that I think, I might be wrong, that Richard wants tiles on this wall. Do you want the steps? Ah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's normal people down here. Yeah, I am struggling a little bit, but I'm uh, green and bearing it. Fan timer, 20 minutes, do you leave them on for? Is that what you set them to, or do you leave them to the customer to set their own? Um, generally, I set them to about five, 10 minutes run on, um, but then I show the customer how to adjust them if they want it on longer or shorter. Oh, what I have started doing for a few people is installing a humidity stat fan in the ah, bathrooms. Right. Yeah, so it takes away the, uh, yeah, yeah. the concern, doesn't it? Yeah. The bathroom fan, the hole cut in the wall looks a little bit less round than it does square at the minute. It's a, uh, an interesting uh, hole saw. Oh, right, okay, so you managed to rotate a hole saw and made a lovely square hole for the fan. So what's the thinking behind that? Um, well, it's exactly where the customer wanted the fan, uh, and there was already a, a air grate out. So what we'll end up doing is putting a, a four inch, uh, four inch round in, um, and ducting it straight out. I think we've learned a couple of things today. If you're stuck in a corner and you need some mates rates cashing in, Will's your man. And what's your thoughts on the MK base range? Hey, Will. Yeah, great. Loved it. So all we need now is your thoughts and comments. Leave them below, and I'll try and get back to as many as I can.